Hi everybody, I'm Joel Simmons for another Two Minute Turf Talk. And today I'd like to talk about the microenergy element, zinc. If zinc is deficient within your soil and plant structure, the plant is not going to be able to photosynthesize the way we would like it to. And remember, if photosynthetic activity is restricted, not only will the greening effect uh, on that plant be limited, but more importantly, the plant's not going to be able to spit down into the soil the carbonic acids that are so important for feeding microbiology in that soil. Zinc has a very close relationship to phosphorus and is often taken into the plant alongside phosphorus. But if phosphorus levels are extremely high, and they are in many soils across the country, zinc mobility is going to be shut down. Zinc mobility will also be shut down if the pH of the soil is above 7. As soon as it crosses that, that border of 7.0 into the higher pH realm, the availability of zinc will be significantly restricted. Now, what this all means is that if you have zinc issues, you want to make sure that you have zinc in your spray tank program. Here at Earthworks, we provide a lot of zinc in our Foliars Plus programs. And there is zinc in all of the biocharge base in all of these products. Another good way to get zinc into the soil, into the plant from the soil, is to make sure that that soil is rich in mycorrhizae. Mycorrhizae, along with phosphorus, will actually draw zinc into the plant. Having mycorrhizae in your program can be a very strong effect on bringing zinc and phosphorus into your plants. Here at Earthworks, we use mycorrhizae in our Myco Replenish product, and we've put it into airification programs on a fairly regular basis to make sure that mycorrhizae stays active within that root zone.